This is the homework for lesson nine. It's module eight of second grade. Get your name on there, please. And we'll, we're circling shapes that have two equal shares with one share shaded in. So these two parts look the same with one of them shaded. This shaded part is way smaller than the unshaded part, so that's not two equal shares. These look equal and these look equal. Shade one half of the shapes that are split into two equal shares. One has been done for you. This one is not equal. These parts are not equal. This doesn't have two equal shares. It's got three equal shares. This one, E, does have two equal shares. So I'm going to shade in one of the halves. And then this rectangle for F also has two equal shares. So I'm going to shade in one of those. And this circle for G looks like it's split right in half. And for H, these are two equal triangles. So I'm going to shade one of those. And for I, um, these two parts are not equal to each other, so I'm not going to shade that one in. Partition the shapes to show halves and shade one half of each. So now same thing as on the first page except now I'm, I'm drawing the line that makes halves and then I'm shading. So the here's the trick with circles is figure out where the center is first, the exact middle of the circle and put a dot there. Just make your best guess as to where it is and if it looks bad you can erase it and try to change it. Uh, the idea is this that the line has to go through that center and this works for most fractions, any fractions of a circle. It's very, very, very difficult to make equal parts of a circle without using the center. Don't even try it. Um, I can't do it. So it, it's very difficult to make it look right. It, and even if you get it right, it won't look right. So, and everyone will think that it's wrong. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go right through the middle, right through that center dot as close as I can get it. So there we go. And then now this uh, rectangle I can go corner to corner and have two equal triangles or I can figure out wherever half of this part is and half of this line is and those two halves I can connect. And that's a, that's pretty good. That's as good as I'm going to get it. And now we have a couple of circles left here. That one looks about the center there. It's a little bit low maybe, but I'm working left and right. Here's that. I think that's about the center of the circle. And now all I need is a line that goes through that center. Use a straight edge. Please use a straight edge when you draw these lines because otherwise the lines won't be straight and it won't look right. And I have to sh uh, shade one of the halves for each of these, right? And there are more shapes I haven't done yet because there's still the bottom half of the page. I'm going to get to it. right and for these you know you can go corner to corner if you want to do something just really that looks different you could do you can make fourths now does it say partition the shapes to show halves um yeah just keep doing this there's there are other ways to do it as long as you have two equal parts. Well, let's see. That one. It's easier to find the half of a shorter line than it is a longer line. So that's usually what I'll pick is I'll try to pick the shorter side and try to guess what half of that is and then connect the two. It's just a little bit easier. You don't have to do it that way.
once you figure out where half of a side is mark half of the opposite side and then connect the lines or you can go corner to corner and shade one of them in 